the method, several methods involved in bit sailing. So the first step involved is that uh, we have to do an observation, observation through the sea to see the behavior of fish or the appearance of the water. If the sea is stable or not, we have to first look at the appearance. So first of all, as you can see the observation of the sea water, uh, it was noticed that uh, not stability too much, but uh, as you can see, spilling up some fish, skin of the fish making uh, noise out there. So this shows that uh, there is fish in the water. I'm going to illustrate you how to go about the fishing net. The components of the gill net and the steps involved how to operate it. Yes, yeah, so here uh, we are going to use the, this net. It's uh, having a mesh size of two inch. Two inch. As you can see, here is the float line and the floater, the components of gill net. And here, the sinker and the sink line. As you can see, so these two men's gonna illustrate the steps or the ways in which you can uh, apply or using the gill net. Okay, in, in Bitsani, uh, usually three, four, sometimes two, two people can operate it. So when it comes to two people, uh, one usually hold the net uh, here, you see it. Hand and the leg down to the sinker line to lock it to, uh, to make sure a piece won't escape. So this one is on one on the other end and the other on the other end. And they usually make a loop, a loop for uh, you know securing the escape of this. So basically two people can operate it. Or otherwise in some cases three or four people. Okay, uh, as you can see, uh, these two fishermen gonna illustrate uh, the bit sending method using gill net. So the steps or method has been made known to you and now they are going to you know illustrate the method that I have mentioned already. So you just observe what they're gonna do out there. And they're all. Okay, the loop has been made by two fishermen. Uh, as you can see, from there, they, uh, Drag, drag the net, the sinker line, using their legs so they make sure no fish escape escape from the bottom so the loop has been created already now they are trying to come out with the sinker line so we just uh, and observe their test, test how will they go about Clovis, this is how Clovis is tied. 
the first loop then you make a second loop then the second loop goes at the back of the first loop like this then you pull it looks something like this yeah to a stick and you can have a clear view of it yeah it looks something like this this is a glow which was the bow line this is how bow line is demonstrated you make a first loop and the other end of the rope goes into the loop like this and then it goes around the other part of the rope and goes back into the same first loop then the other end of the rope is pulled gently to make the bow line like this it looks something like this this is how a bow line is tied yeah yeah so the third one is the figure it not so i'll demonstrate it you go around the line and then you go into the loop which is created <coughs> it looks something like this yeah it looks like this figure eight. the same principle is applied to make the double eight knot There are seven steps involved in operating an outboard motor. <coughs> the first step is to connect the hose to the fuel tank. Okay, the longer part of the hose is connected to the tank as illustrated <coughs> and the shorter part is connected to the engine <coughs> so he's connecting the shutter part to the engine then then you pump the hose several times to allow the fuel running into the engine the second step is to check if the water is clear rubbish and deep enough to release the engine After making sure the water is clear of rubbish, then you release the engine into the water by tilting the lock lever. Before starting the engine, check to see that the gear shift lever is at neutral. Shift the gear forward and backwards and ensure that the gear lever is put to neutral before starting the engine the clip is attached to the engine stop button before the engine is start pull manual starter button to start the engine if the engine starts Easily allow a three minute warm up. Forward push on the shift gear lever to take off. An outward twist towards the left 
on the throttle friction adjuster is low speed while an inward twist towards the right is high speed and now the strain of the throttle friction adjuster is a 10 to stop the violin in between the better now I pick and fight and slam and go